World Cup final at Wembley, and England, one of the proud participants. 22 men on this pitch now, this beautiful Wembley pitch, as fit as men can be made by their two managers. And after face an afternoon, you can be sure, as long as they draw breath, they will never forget, whatever the result, whatever their own personal performance is, they will never forget this afternoon. And there they go, the Germans to kick off. Trying along, shortly down the right, Hallam and the ball getting off this turf now. This is a point to bear in mind, with a little bit of rain on it, it'll be a little bit skiddy on top. Perhaps the moment for a defence to make one terrible mistake, we never know. But certainly, it just adds to the hazard, it adds to the possibilities of this wonderful afternoon here. England winning a free kick just inside their own half. So Bobby Moore down beneath us, he's proud England skipper. Back to Ray Wilson, the left back. Wilson challenged by Hallam, and he gets past Hallam to Martin Peters. Peters now, to be run inside to Bobby Charlton. There to take the return is Peters. Peters striding towards, inside to Bobby Charlton again. Charlton across to Stiles, completely unmarked a shot by Stiles, but it's dropped there by Weber, and the Germans get it away through Emmerich on the far side, but still deep in German territory. But the Germans in possession now through Beckenbauer, a short ball to Overath. Overath not making good that pass, though, and George Cohen sipping in for England. To Bobby Moore, Moore putting it forward again to his West Ham teammate, Hurst. There's another West Ham man, Peters, in possession now. Peters striding towards the penalty area, but a little slow getting his shot in. But Bobby Charlton going up there to head. The ball comes through to Peters again, but he can't control it. And the ball gets off behind for a goal kick to Germany. By Tilkowski to the pair haired Schnellinger, this prince of fullbacks in world football. Schnellinger, a long, long ball upfield to another fair haired prince of defenders, Bobby Moore. Moore to the little red haired Alan Ball. Ball slipping it forward to Hunt, who can't play the one two off to Cohen, only plays it into touch just inside the German half. Schnellinger again with the throw in for Germany. To Schultz, this magnificent sweeper up, this tall, spare figure in the German defence there, a long one forward to test the England defence, Held going up for it, but Bobby Moore beating him in the air, but it comes through to Emmerich. Emmerich through to Held is completely unmarked. Oh, a bad mistake there in the England defence there, but Held shot is wide. A moment of weakness, they were drawn badly there, there's pointing left, right and centre in this English defence as they try to sort out what went wrong there and certainly something went wrong, held it appears must have been a moment to the offside because they were getting a free kick just inside their own penalty area but the fact remains that held was completely unmolested and unmarked there inside the England penalty area two minutes gone then, no score here in this World Cup final and Germany in possession through Emmerich but he loses it to Stiles, Stiles losing it though to Cohen, and now it's the Germans attacking down the left through Hell. Jack Charlton slips Hell now in position down by the England corner flag on the far side of the field, bringing it towards the byline and getting it over, but not quite to Zayla because the foot of Bobby Moore is there to clear for England. To Hunt, Hunt forward to Hurst. Hurst now trying to go past his man, but there are too many German defenders there, and it's Weber getting the ball clear to Schnellinger. Schnellinger up onto the left wing to Hell. Held inside to his Borussia Dortmund teammate Emmerich, but that was a bad one from Emmerich. Easily cut out by Nobby Stiles. Stiles through the ball. Ball sending Bobby Charlton chasing. But Beckenbauer was quick to spot that one for Germany. And he clears through to Schnellinger now on the far side. Schnellinger again to Emmerich. Emmerich inside to Haller. Haller beating off that challenge by Bobby Moore. Getting the ball back to Emmerich. Emmerich on the far side again. Looping this ball in there. Zayla there. And again the England defence for a moment. It seemed caught unawares until Ray Wilson came in with a very good tackle. Just as it seemed for a terrible moment that Zayla might be through. Into touch on the far side opposite the England penalty area. Throw into Germany, taken by Haller through to Schnellinger now. Schnellinger looping this ball, this orange ball, in towards the England penalty area. Zayla and Wilson going for it, neither of them quite getting it. And the ball coming loose to Bobby Moore. Moore now to Charlton. Now there's not really very much composure as yet about this England defence. But what can their forwards do? Not very much with a pass like that for Bobby Charlton that goes straight through to Schultz, Schultz through to Hutkins. Right full back for Germany. Hunt is coming forward there. Oh, bad one from him there. Put Beckenbauer in the most terrible predicament. The ball going into touch for a throw in to England. Taken by Bobby Charlton to ball. Back it comes to Bobby Charlton again. Inside now to Nobby Stiles with a little bit of freedom there. Coming towards the other penalty here. Will Stiles get in a shot now? He pushes a quick one to Roger Hunt. Can Hunt get in a shot now? He can't because he's off of the way by these white shirted German defenders. And it's Haller coming away for Germany now. Zayla slipping his man there. Zayla deep in the English half now on the far side to Held, who is again unmarked. 
Held now to the edge of the England penalty area. Zayla's inside and so is Hallis. Still held in position. Sifted it back to Emery. A shot by Emery, but that's going to go well wide. In fact, it doesn't even go anywhere near the England goal. It comes right to this side, into touch, for a throw into England. Taken by Alan Ball. Ball back to his fullback, Ray Wilson. Wilson forward to Bobby Moore. Moore striding forward now for England. Hurst looking for a little bit of space there. Moore looking for a man. He's got Peters unmarked outside him, but he finds Hurst instead. Hurst a bad, bad return ball there, hoping to find Moore. But fortunately, he was carrying Schnellinger enough to make Schnellinger put the ball into touch. So it's a throw into England, quickly taken. Ball with Alan Ball now. Ball trying to go past Schnellinger. He gets past Schnellinger, but he can't get past Hodges. And the ball comes down through to Schultz. Schultz through to Hodges again and deep in the German defence. Through to Schultz again we come. Across their own penalty area and then back to goalkeeper Bilkowski. Bilkowski dressed in black with black shirt, black shorts and white stockings. England in red shirts, unfamiliar red, defending the goal to our right. The Germans defending the goal to our left. The players' entrance then, as it were, as we sit above the royal box there. Robbie Styles coming away for England now. This man who for some early on in this tournament was the villain, but when his name was announced this afternoon, he got a tremendous cheer from this very warm Wembley crowd. He really is one of the England heroes of this 1966 World Cup. Peters through to Bobby Moore now. Moore through to Ray Wilson. Wilson there challenged by Haller, but he gets the ball back to Moore. Moore forward to Styles. Styles, a nice little triangular movement down towards the left touch line now to Peters. Peters lobbing it forward for Hurst to chase, but Schultz will be there to gobble that one up, I think. He does a oh, very clever little pass by Schultz through to Hodges. Hodges back to goalkeeper Zilkowski. And then a quick throw by Jilkowski out to Schnellinger, his left back. Six minutes gone, no score here in this World Cup final. England nil, West Germany nil. And here's Beckenbauer, one of these dangerous midfield men. But not dangerous when Styles lifts in and takes that ball from him there. To Bobby Charles and Styles again running unmarked in the midfield there. Coming towards the German penalty area now. With Hunt outside him, will Styles try a shot? He does, but it cannons off a German defender. And it's finally cleared by Schultz high into the England half where... It only finds the head of Jack Charlton, and a misdirected header there by Charlton. Then Zayla away for Germany. Zayla with Haller running free. Will Zayla try a shot? He does, but it cannons off Wilson, and it'll come through the banks. Oh, over banks, indeed, for a corner. A corner to West Germany. The first corner of the match with seven minutes gone. A corner to Germany to be taken by Haller down on the right. The fair haired Haller now. That ball bounced over Banks' his head. Here it comes into the centre again. Headed away by Jack Charlton for England. Dwellen Ball. Ball completing the clearance to Jeff Hurst. Hurst controlling it well and then putting not a very good pass, but in fact Bobby Charlton makes the best of it and sends Hunt away down the left. Hunt now with Hurst racing inside him. Hunt himself racing towards the goal. A long pass over towards the right there when Styles is again running free for England. Styles lifting it into the penalty. And there goes Hunt to head, but oh, Dilkowski punched them away. Not very convincingly. And Bobby Charlton lobs it back in again. They're past the point again. Down goes Dilkowski. In goes Kyle. And Dilkowski is injured on the ground there. The ball bobbing about in his penalty area. Four coming up there. The referee blows his whistle. The ball goes into the German net. But the whistle is gone. And poor Dilkowski was down there, injured on the ground there. As he and Hurst bash on the edge of his six yard box there. No one to blame for that one. Hurst was going wholeheartedly for it, as indeed Dilkowski was. And so we have, with eight minutes gone, no score here and a chance for Morris Edelson to come in and assist the early play there. Morris. Well, if it keeps up at this tempo, Brian, I think we're in for quite an afternoon. That's the first comment I'd like to make. The second one, I think, is this, that the Germans are marking man for man in defence without any query at all. Snellinger is on ball and Beckenbauer on Charles and Weber on Hunt. And they're marking pretty tight and pretty close. Over off on the far side with the ball now. Coming forward very gently, very quietly, very slowly, then releasing the ball to Held. Held back again to Over off. Trying to play a one-two there with Held. But the England players very quick to spot that one. There's Jack Charlton now for England. Charlton to ball. Ball back again to Jack Charlton. And now with a tall figure of Jack Charlton in his red shirt. Coming forward for England to Martin Peters. To the edge of the German penalty area. Shot across the goal there. And beautifully punched away there by Tilkowski for the corner. Well, that was a magnificent shot by Peters. A good save by Tilkowski. Here's the corner. It's, oh, a shot past the post there by Hunt. Took it on the volley. 
And there's either go in or go wildly wide. And that one went wide. And the German goes down. Mr. Beach is having nothing with it, though. Of course, there has been criticism in the past weeks of the Germans have play acted a little bit when they've been tackled. They've gone down feigning injury when they haven't been injured. And Mr. Beach is having none of it. It's Weber, in fact. And he told Weber to get on with the game. Well, the first real excitement, that shot there from Martin Peters. And it shows that Tilkowski has recovered well from that crash he had with Jeff Perth just a moment ago. Beautiful save there, pushing that ball round. And now it's the Germans very much in possession as Pell tries to head the ball on for Haller. But uh, there was an infringement there by an England player some 15 yards outside the English penalty area. So this is going to be a free kick to Germany. 15 yards outside the England penalty area. The red wall beginning to fall. At least a very big wall at the moment. You have Bobby Charlton and... Uh, Jeff Hurst there, most of the players filtering to them towards the far post. The second bow puts it in there, headed away by Bobby Moore to Bobby Charlton. Charlton now with ball outside him, releasing into ball as ball strides down the left wing with Charlton overlapping outside him. Ball still in possession, taking it on towards Schnellinger, trying to go past Schnellinger and going past Schnellinger. Taking the ball now towards the edge of the penalty area. Schnellinger goes in for another tackle, but ball managed to release it in time to Peters. A shot by Peters just across the goal there and just past the bow. Well, certainly with the improvement in England in this World Cup, there's been the improvement in Martin Peters, who came into this side really only just before the World Cup began and missed the first game against Uruguay. came in after that and has improved each time. And this has been one of his great strengths, the way he can come forward from a midfield position and shoot. And twice he's shot in the last three minutes or so, and twice it's been very close indeed to the German goal. But it's Germany in possession now through Thaler. Thaler to Schnellinger on the far side now to Ziggy Held. Held there. On the far side there, lifting this ball into the English penalty area. But that's going to be headed away, not very well by Wilson to Haller. Can Haller get a shot? It's a goal to Germany. A goal to Germany by Haller. Pushes the ball into touch. 15 minutes then gone. 
England nil, West Germany won. The first time England have been led in this World Cup competition, and it comes in the final now. Charlton trying to find a way through for England, but the Germans are covering up well, and it's Schultz there. Schultz for West Germany, coming away now. Bobby Charlton going into the tackle there, at least putting the ball in touch before the Germans could make very much more ground. Bobby Moore urging his men on just in front of us. Fifteen minutes gone then. Germany leading by a goal to nil, and here to take up commentary for the next period is Alan Clark. Thank you, Brian. It's a very good Germany down in front of us. Quickly taken to my Hawkes. The ball run first comes to Bobby Moore. A long ground here. Charlton lets it go to Cohen over the far side of the field. Cohen now with it for England. A long one up towards the right there. Headed off by Hunt. Down to the wing body. Please just race these boys as they will get there first. And turns the ball into touch a few yards from the corner flag over the far side. Very right to England. And a ball going for it. Doesn't meet him well, so it's stopped to turn up by Omerat. Upfield, it runs loose, but there's three red shirts there to go back inside their own half. And Bobby Moore goes across to stop any danger down the German left wing. Moore, parting with it to Cohen. Right along the ground, trying to find Jeff Hurst. It's rather close, so the ball's turned into touch by the Germany. Very taken by Emmerich, and that one cut out by Jackie Charlton. In the touch. Help, he's had again to Emery, or Hallard. Oh, Hallard's come right across there, number eight on his shirt, to take this throw for Germany. It's inside to Overlord. Overlord pushing it back to Hallard, down on the left wing, has helped in close attendance. Inside again to Overlord. Up in the middle is Sailor waiting for it. Throw to Overlord again, taken rather short, and Alan Ball comes between the ball and the pass there, and he's brought down in turn there by Overlord. Free kick to England. A few yards to the centre circle, quickly taken. Bobby Moore slipping the ball down to Ray Wilson. In front of us here, down the wing goes Jeff Hurst. The ball goes into touch before Hurst could get to it. There's a throw into West Germany on this side of the field. Throw in to be taken by Ford Guest. Throws it back to his keeper, Tukowski, who has now appears to be fully recovered from his earlier injury. Certainly two minutes. After that, he made this great save from Peters. And then Germany, of course, went ahead after 13 minutes from Haller. A mistake in defense there by Wilson, who headed the ball down to him by Willa Clear. The ball goes into touch halfway inside the German half of the field. Quick throw in, taken and thrown back to keeper Tukowski. For Germany, and now the England chance coming out. We hope to hear a lot more of it before the end of the afternoon because England made one goal down inside the first 15 minutes. And certainly up against it. They started off determined, and I think that's the way they'll be. There's Charlton, moving it forward now to Bobby Moore. Rather square, the ball has it now with England. Pressing inside the German half, and the ball is brought down by Overhart there. The referee, Mr. Dean, just having a quick word in passing them. And ahead of here, it's down, it's there. Get hurt for Bobby Germany, pushing it down the wing over the far side to help. 
Right up in the middle is Emmerich, but Hell tries a long shot, but that is blocked by Nobby Stiles down to the edge of the penalty area. Jackie Charlton gets the big boot to it. There's the orange coloured ball, well it's done the German half, and between them they almost must that once, but finally they get across in front of us to Overard. Overard now for Germany. Down to Haller. Haller cutting on the inside of Alan Ball. Fine Schlettinger has come across down in front of us here. To Beckenbauer. Beckenbauer with the ball now, halfway inside the England half. Down again to Haller, but the red shirts are backing up in defence there. The ball goes floating across, headed away by Cohen down on this side of the field to Ray Wilson. Ray Wilson down to Bobby Moore. And the ball turned into touch. It probably went from the boot of Bobby Moore. I thought it had. Throw into Germany then. Port Guest taking it very quickly. Sailor trying to get it through, but fails to get between Ball and Bobby Moore. Moore Upfield brings it to Hurst again. The ball taken off his boot and turned into touch. A throw in, quickly taken. Down the ball. Raining through. Peters was waiting for it there. He just quite reached Peters. A bit too hard by Alan Ball, who just acknowledges the fact that he realised he put too much power behind it. If Peters just stopped that one and turned, that might have been a lively looking move for England. But as it is, it's Germany with the ball. Just on the halfway line. Push back now to Helt. Helt a long one up through the middle. Headed away by Charlton. This side of the field, Spenninger comes up with another header. This will be watched by Ray Wilson this time. And turn and elbows against England. I would Against Germany, rather. Free kick to England. That's what I really meant to say. But I saw the Lions was playing quite in the direction of England to take this free kick. And this is Ray Wilson. Turn the ball back inside the area to Gordon Banks. That's a little bit of elbow from Zayla. Wilson and Zayla just exchanging greetings, as it were. Overarch losing it out of Peters, but Peters pushing his man off there. Yes, and this it is. Having none of that. And taking a free kick, and he's going to have this one back. He wasn't watching. He's going to take his name, I think. He's going to take Peter's name and he's asking Peter to turn round. Number 16 on his shirt. The name of Peter has been taken. After 22 minutes, none of the first half. West Germany won, then England won. England coming back after 18 minutes to equalise. A long free kick. Up goes ahead, headed by Zayla. And down goes Banks right on his line there. Comes out of his hands and knees to pick up. For England to take it to the edge of the penalty and to clear right footed upfield. A long one. Up to the head. Faber gets his there first and head in the touch over the far side. Slips on the turf as he does it. Throw into England. Charlton down to Cohen. Back to Charlton now. Up through the middle goes Hurst. And little balls waiting for it on this side. So he's beat it. Then it's Charlton. In the middle bit of space to move in. Oh, the return pass there. Almost came in. Cohen tries the first time. Shot past the first. Oh, well wide. Now to the corner bank. Cohen coming up into attack there. Not the overlap down the wing, but cutting in almost as an inside right for England. 18 minutes gone. And England played it. 23 minutes gone. 23 minutes gone. England scored after 18 minutes to equalise. German's first goal after 13. Now inside the centre circle is Zayla with the ball for Germany. Zayla up through the middle offside, up goes the linesman's flag. Well offside there, Banks just gears the ball back to Bobby Moore, who takes this very quick free kick. Now the Ray Wilson. Wilson in front of us now for England. A long one up through the middle is a bad one. Rather Raven is there. Just straight back to Schultz. And a beautiful pass out here to Zayla, still inside his own half, but a neat ball to find Zayla down on the uh, right wing, inside his own half, inside the Haller, Haller back to Overarch, just on the edge of the centre circle, Germany with possession at the moment, a long one up through the middle, that's a bad one, skies it too far forward for his own bend, and allows the ball to run through the bank. Peters, uh, back to Bobby Moore. Wilson down on the left wing now over the halfway line before change of direction. Inside the centre circle to Nobby Stiles. Stiles bring the loose in the ball. He just couldn't find it. It tucked around his feet there, went through it, finally lost it. Miss Haller, who comes with the ball for Germany from the centre circle. The sun comes out here at Wembley. We hope the sun is shining, particularly for England, as the ball is put right across the face of their goal. Up to the head by Zayla now. 
down by the first pair, and this will be a goal kick to England. Taylor went down on the turf, the header went wide, and Gordon Banks will take the goal kick for England. The sun's now shining on Wembley. We had a little rain just before the start of the game, which dampened the Wembley surface, made it rather skinny, but once or twice I've also noticed the ball has been kicking a little bit on this very fine Wembley turf. And a free kick there to England. Got a serve for the touch line. Quickly taken by her. Inside the style. Style with the ball. Down on the wing to Ball. Ball on the left wing now. Hurst racing on the outside. The ball turns inside. Ball tries a long shot across the goal. He didn't go in the right direction. But it runs through to Robbie Charlton. Charlton, the left foot shot there down by the first day. The keeper has a scramble point on his hands and knees. Double all the power behind it. But Tchaikovsky had to get down quickly to his post there to pick up and clear the ball out to the right to Stelliger. Stelliger, the left fullback of Germany, long one up through the middle, was only Taylor there to go for it. Being cut out there by Bobby War in turn. Away to Wilson and then changing direction, England finds Cohen down on the right. Cohen, a long one upfield for England. Jeff Hurst going up for the header. Heads on, but this will be watched back by Schultz. But Hunt comes racing across there, trying to get between Schultz and goalkeeper Kutzkowski. But he didn't do it. Keeper clears the ball upfield inside the centre circle. Still one goal each. Up to Zayla. Zayla beats off the channel there. Ed Haller racing through there to try and get between Wilson and the keeper. As Ray Wilson appealing to the referee. But Haller going on the inside of him has pushed him over on the turf here. The referee will have none of that one. But thanks to clear for England upfield. Up to Peters. Peters doesn't throw the ball well. And Schultz turns it for Germany. Along the ground over the far side. Still one goal each. Inside the help. A nice stick down to Emery. Down on the left. And Emery goes flying there. And the referee says, comes together here. He's going to give a free kick. Free kick to Germany. Free kick to Germany as the two England players went to the tackle there. Emery went flying. Free kick. Sonica to take it. It's a good one too, but headed away by Charlton. Jackie Charlton headed back again by Beckenbauer. The Germanys let it do again, slamming the ball across. Taylor couldn't hold it there. He bounced off his legs. He runs through his break. Now the hunt inside his own half. But tearing away up to the halfway line. First with it. Just changing the pace of the ball. The mother waiting for his other players to move up. Down the ball. Ball cutting inside now. Slips it through. Hunt going for this. Just on the sixth bar of line, but the ball is turned away, but it only runs loose for England. Bobby Moore, and the return pass goes to Spray there in touch. Moore to take the throw in for England. West Germany, one, England, one. England equalizes after 18 minutes. The ball floats across the face of the German goal. It's come up once again, but it's the free kick. Germany, 27 and a half minutes. Come on the first half here at Wembley. The ball taps back to... German keeper takes his clearance. Germany defended the goal to our left. Then above the roll box, right on the halfway line. Bobby Moore. Down the ball. Ball inside the centre circle. Slips it forward there. Hunt going for it. The ball's taken off his turn. He comes to Everett. Tries to turn it inside. Haller there, but the ball pressed it down by Moore. Before Haller could get to it, the pace beat him. Down to Bobby Charlton. Now can we get a run from Charlton? He goes on the outside of his man. It's Beckenbauer in the tackle there. Long one right across the plate. Hunt's going for it. He can't get a shot in the ball. Thrown away by Weber. Put a corner. Hunt very well, very dearly came for the outside of Weber there. But Weber managed to get a boot to it. Turn it behind for the corner to England. On the far side. Ball taken it. It's close in. But the keeper takes it into his body. It was too close to the England forwards there. Kowski. And plenty of time. With ease, clears the ball up still for Germany. Inside the centre circle, Beckenbauer with it now. Baylor's with it, but Beckenbauer picks it forward as Baylor had come in too close. I think Baylor thought for just one minute there that Beckenbauer was going it alone, but he came in too close with his man, and the ball beat him, and it's cleared by England down in front of Mr. Wilson. Wilson back to Hurst. Hurst now has Peters up through the middle there, but Charlton linking up, turning it across the field to. Club partner Styles will head down to Cohen. Cohen now getting the ball across the turf here to Bobby Moore. 
Rather slow build up for Ingmanson. The possession is Robin Wall trying to long shot. Right to Rashman over the bar. And this is the sort of thing that the spectators will want to see from England. Going in the right direction, as they did in the early minutes of the game, when Martin Peters gave them the lead there with a couple of long shots through the German defence. One that the keeper had to save, and the other one just off target. Clearance by the West German keeper, up to their left over the far side. Inside out of help. Back again to Gellinger. Gellinger to Overard, just on the edge of the centre circle. Overard moving it forward to Weber, down in front of us now. Weber for Germany, as Weber on the outside of him. Weber just sticks it to him, side footed. Races down onto the right, the right wing. Weber back to Weber, trying to get a little bit of space here to turn the ball in. But it's into Haller. Haller now. Along the ground to Overard, takes it rather close to the Germans, and looking for an opening, which they haven't found yet, because Ball will cut that one out from help, but he's going to be penalised, yes, and he doesn't like this at all. And Mr. Dins is having a, a very firm word without the ball there. Well, that's a silly of Ball, because if the referee is going to give a foul, it's very silly to start waving your arms above your head, especially with Mr. Dins. And here comes the free kick, and it's right over the head of Zayla. Brought down by Wilson on this side of the field. He looks to keep the banks, but decides not to do that one with a couple of white shirts in the England penalty area. Comes down to Hurst in front of us. Hurst up to the halfway line. Slips the ball through to Marty Peters. Peters loses it. Doesn't hold the ball in the tackle there to Beckenbauer. Beckenbauer now inside the centre circle to help. Help looking to Emmerich. Down on the left there. He doesn't get onto the ball. And Green Red Shirts cut, cut this one off. And Jackie Charlton cut it off very deeply. Turn completely around. Then Alan Ball with it inside the centre circle down to Nobby Styles. Styles then over the halfway line. 31 minutes gone of this half. Germany won, England won. Styles trying to turn the ball in, but it hits the head there and goes behind for. goes over the line, rather, for a throw in. Yard or so from the corner flag. <coughs> the referee indicating that it's a throw, I think, to England. There's rather a doubt about this. And the referee knocking the ball out of the hands. Anyway, of Schultz, they're giving the throw into England. Stand the ball. Ball to Stiles. Stiles the ball. And they take it too close. Bundled off into the ball, into touch. Once again, now this time it's a throw into Germany, which is taken by Zellinger. Back to goalkeeper Tulowski. Long throw out to the far side. To help. Inside his own half, to Beckenbauer. Beckenbauer now with it, to Weber. A short one back, inside the centre circle, to Beckenbauer again. Beckenbauer to Overart, who's moved down to the outside right position, down in front of us here, in our commentary box position. Into the middle, up to the head, Zayla goes for it. This time he doesn't reach up far enough for the ball, turned away, upfield to Hurst, almost on the halfway line, but Hurst reaches for the tackle there, but the ball runs back. From the scramble on the Wembley turf there to Ray Wilson. Wilson to Bobby Moore. Moore. Then to Wilson again. Wilson through to Hurst. As Nobby Styles just down on his left. Down inside to Bobby Charlton. Charlton has a, some room to move, but he moves the ball well to the far side to George Cohen. Cohen looking for the long cross. He gets it to up to the end of the end by Hurst. Save right on the line there, but the keeper doesn't take it. They stand across the face of the goal. There's great excitement, but it's whipped away by Germany. Great hitter there by Jeff Hurst. A fine cross indeed by George Cohen. A header from Hurst. The keeper did well to save it. Right on the line. Couldn't hold the ball. And finally, Germany scrambling across the face of the goal before a red shirt could come up. Bobby Moore trying to link the ball through now. Turned away by Schultz. Brought down by Emery. The linesman says, but okay, to get to the referee. He'll stop the crowd for hands there, and he runs loose to Haller. Haller takes it down to the left there to Helt. Helt is through for Emmerich, waiting for him, but it's too fast. He goes into the ruck of photographers there behind the England goal, and this is the goal kick. The board and back will take. Well, certainly the head of first, most useful, here this afternoon. A very fine header there. Good cross from Cohen. A good save from Tolofsky, and then finally scrambled away. Now it's England again. They're getting the England crowd behind them too here at Wembley. The chanting going 
on in the terraces. Certainly put hard into England. Peter's going through to Buck Charlton. The reserve basket is play a bad one for Bobby Charlton. But in the tussle there, it's Hunter gets to Peter's gate. Oh, that's a, almost an in-off shot there. He had the leg on the way. He didn't deceive the German keeper, though. He comes up with it quite cleanly to get the penalty here. It's clear right footed up feet. And it's a long one, too, and halfway inside England. Half Bobby Moore goes for it. Gets it to the second attempt on his chest. And very neatly takes the ball down to Peter's. Out to Hurst, but this one's cut off by Hortgen. Gone right across the far side there. Going to England, halfway inside the German half. Down again to Hurst on the far side. Hurst back to Cohen. Can Cohen float another one like he did before? He does, right across this side, but this time Beckenbauer is there to turn it. Towards the touch line, Charlton. Bobby Charlton moving it back a yard or so, but Charlton just... Looking up to the middle now. Now Bobby with his left foot. Curling one in. Up goes the keeper. Punches the way. He doesn't hold this one. He punches it to the edge of the area. Fortunately, he punches in the right direction for Germany. The ball is cleared. Down in front of us. Up to the halfway line. Haller with it. And Zayla close attendance. Probably too close. So Haller's going to change direction by turning it to the edge of the area. Enter the centre circle, rather, to Beckenbauer. Long one after the left. There's a help. Helps unmarked at the moment. Help will try and curl this one in one for the thought the first time, but he doesn't. He's trying to dribble his way past Cohen, and that's fatal because little Robbie Stiles goes across there and takes the ball right away from him. Oh, and a bad one there by Cohen, but this time Cohen rounds his man there, Help. He hasn't got time, and he's really muffed this one. He gives it to Helms again on finally Jackie Johnson has to come across. Cohen couldn't make up his mind just what to do, whether to try and give it back to Gordon Banks, to try and turn it away from. Helps. And between the two decisions, he really messed that one up and gives the corner to Germany on the far side, which Helps is prepared to take now for Germany with the score 1-1. One, one. Here to take up commentary once again is Brian Moore. Thank you, Alan. Here's the corner for Germany, a low one. Run into that England. It's to Overarth. The shot for Overarth. That's a beautiful save by Banks. And another beautiful save by Banks. And it's an one there from Emily. Dangerous moments there, two of them in the England penalty area. Cohen, who gave away that corner so needlessly, very nearly the villain of the piece there. But Banks equal to the occasion on both occasions there, first from Held and then from Emery. And England breathing again as they come away into the German half there. Wilson inside to Bobby Charlton. Charlton moving this ball across with all the players that we know that he's got there, then slipping a short one. Nobby Styles in the centre circle. Styles to the far side to Cohen. Now, can he redeem himself? He pushes one forward for Hunt to chase, but Hunt is being held off by Weber, but Hunt still manages to keep it in. The referee has blown his whistle over to Dean St. Switzerland. Hunt and Weber have been having a little go there, and presumably Hunt was the guilty party because the Germans have a free kick, and now the ball is with goalkeeper Phil Kosky. A long, overarm throw down beneath us, the right hand side of the field to the fair haired Haller. Haller splitting it inside to Hutch, and he's right back. Hutchkiss inside to Beckenbauer. Beckenbauer back again to Hutchkiss. Low build up, a good open final this so far. Neither side has established any mastery. I thought for a long time the Germans looked the more dangerous side. The last five minutes until we had that little Shimon and England goal just before that, I thought England were coming back. But it's Germany now in possession through Hell. Hell, the long one forward into the England uh, penalty area there. Haller going for it, and so was Wilson. And the ball goes off the head of Wilson behind for a corner to West Germany. Black clouds threatening all around the stadium at the moment. The weather forecast certainly wasn't very good. We had sunshine at the start. So like all the great weather occasions, but now the black clouds are rolling up as Haller takes this corner. Banks punching it away for England, though. And Hunt helping with the clearance. Hunt challenged there by Schnellinger. Schnellinger getting it back to his wing half, Weber. Weber back to the ever-faithful Schultz and Schultz forward to Beckenbauer, this 20-year-old midfield player with such a tremendous future in the game. Germany still keeping possession. I would think by a shade, having slightly the better of this open final here at Wembley. Weber now on the far side to Hutzke. Long one forward now to Schnellinger. Schnellinger pushing it forward. Look as though he's trying to find Mr. Dean, the referee, with a pass. Mr. Dean slips his foot. And the ball goes behind for a goal kick to England. Six minutes to go to half-time. The scoreboard to the right and left of us, either end of the ground. England 1, West Germany 1 in this 1966 
World Cup final, Banks taking in a goal kick for England. Bounces off the knees of Alan Moore, they come strong style, back the ball again on the far side, England in their red shirts advancing towards the German penalty area, little Robbie Styles there, chugging forward again for England. Beating off one tackle and then another, getting the ball back to Alan Ball. Ball to Bobby Charlton, still on the edge of the penalty area there, Charlton trying to slip the ball inside, but it comes off the German defender Cohen, but the Germans still having trouble getting this away as Peters goes into a tackle, but Zayla, Uwe Zayla, this hero of German football, is right back there, helping his defence, and now he's streaming away towards the English penalty area. On the far side to Held, Held, will he try a long shot? He does, but it cannons off the head of Jack Charlton to Jeff Hurst. Hurst now, inside his own half, to Bobby Charlton. Charlton, a long ball, switching the point of the attack to Bobby Moore. Moore keeping that in well. A little applause there for Bobby Moore as the England skipper goes forward down the left flank for England. A long ball for Hunt, but Hunt was a little slow off the mark for that one. But he just managed to keep it in down by the corner flag. He's watched by a couple of German defenders, and in fact, it bounces off Faber and comes through to Schultz, and Schultz quite idly. A man who never seems to play at more, much more than walking pace. A beautifully poised player, this Schultz. Puts it back to his goalkeeper, Tilgonski, who looks to be, to be the, what, the one vulnerable member of this German side at the moment, the goalkeeper. Over off now for West Germany. Forward to Beckenbauer. Beckenbauer forward to Haller. The Germans in possession just inside the England half on the right-hand side of the field. Over off. Probing down the right there, but Styles is equal to that one. He stops the ball and Beckenbauer is going for it. And England coming away again in their red shirt. Bobby Moore, their skipper. Not a very good one for Moore. It made uh, Peter stop in his tracks, but... Gets the return to Bobby Moore, then Moore tries one out to the right there, where Hunt is in possession, but a bad one there by Hunt. Embarrasses Jack Charlton, and away go the Germans again. Eric, will Moore stop him? He does, in the thick of time on the edge of the penalty area. A little bit of slap happy play there by England. Roger Hunt's the guilty man, but England are saved by their skipper Bobby Moore, and it's Bobby Charlton away now on the right. To Alan Ball with Cohen, an overlap down the right. George Cohen tripping over the ball, though. And now tackled by Haller, but Cohen still has the ball, down by the corner flag, but... Schultz gets the better of him, and Schultz turns the ball into touch. Bob is in the German penalty area on the far side of the field. Alan Ball in possession for England now, taking the ball, challenging Snellinger to come for it. Buzzing around there as he always does, Alan Ball, but Snellinger covering and covering again. But Ball slips a good ball through to Bobby Charlton. Charlton turning it into the penalty area, headed away by Faber, but Wilson putting it back into the penalty area for England. And Alan Ball comes through the hunt, there's a chance for Hunt, it's shot, oh, and it's saved by Jokowski, and he doesn't know how. Saved above his head, that shot by but and he didn't know how he did it. But Germany are saved, just as England have been saved by two fine saves by Gordon Banks just five minutes ago, and the score remains England one, West Germany one, with three minutes to go to half time. Still a very open match, neither side gaining any sort of mastery. First in possession now for England. Back to Martin Peters. Peters taking on his man and slipping into Bobby Charlton. Charlton now taking on Beckenbauer. Will he release one of his cannonballs? No. He puts the ball to Peters, but Peters couldn't quite get to it. Alone in the penalty area until a German boot came out to dispossess him at the crucial moment. And now it's Germany coming away again through hell. Held with Zayla in close attendance there. He slips the short one to Zayla. And now there are four white shirts of Germany creeping towards the England penalty area. Zayla in possession, a long shot from Zayla. And just over the bar. A fine save by Banks. He must have just touched that one. Putting it over for a corner to West Germany with two minutes to go to half time. This dangerous player, Zayla, who's been in the German national side now for something like 12 years. A man of 30, but certainly one of the most dangerous attackers in the game. There's the corner from Haller, but that doesn't trouble Banks at all. He gathers the ball quite easily and throws it to Hurst. And Hurst doesn't control it well, but the ball cannons off Schnellinger into touch. For a throw in just inside the German half to England. Ball to take it. Ball to Bobby Charlton, who takes it on his chest. Charlton hoping to get the ball back to Alan Ball, but the German a little too quick for him there, and it's Saber in possession. Into the centre circle to Beckenbauer. Beckenbauer to Held, or needs he meant to go to Held. But Cohen intercepts as well. And now away come England, with Hurst there with him. And Hunt also, he pushes the ball to the corner of the penalty area to Hunt. Hunt going inside his man, a left foot shot there, but that's beaten away by the German defence. It only comes as far as Peters. The referee intercepting there almost, putting the England players off, and Zayla comes away with it to Oberaf now for Germany. Down the right flank, inside he goes to Beckenbauer, challenged by Hunt, makes him 
get rid of the ball a little quickly, a little quicker than he wanted to, but the ball still in possession of Germany. Baylor, down the right touch line, a long ball for Emmerich, who's moved to an inside right position today, but Jack Charlton very quick in there to intercept and turn the ball behind for another corner to West Germany. Down on the right, which Emmerich himself will take very quickly to Haller on the corner of the England penalty area now. Haller trying to go past Peters. He gets in a shot a long way over the crossbar, though. And thanks to watch that one go by. England won, West Germany won, and one minute to go to half time. Banks looking for a man. And then punching the ball high into the German half, where who else? Deep in defense. Just nodded back quite casually as though this were a practice game, not a World Cup final. Billy Schultz, this magnificent sweeper in the German defense, just nodding the ball back to Tilkowski, and there's a drop kick. From Tilkowski, high into the English half. Jack Charlton heading it away for England, though. A little Allen ball. The ball must be offended. Stellinger as he did so, and the referee gives a free kick to the West Germans. Ball is arguing, and he's a silly boy to argue, because Mr. Beans has shown off enough in this match that he'll take no argument. And it's a free kick to Germany inside the English half now. The players matching in the English penalty area as Hell tries a short one across the field to Hutchins. Hutchins a long shot he's trying there, bouncing there across the turf, the slippery turf, but into the trusty arms of England goalkeeper Gordon Banks. And now it's Bobby Charlton coming down the left for England, going past his man, going past Beckenbauer as though Beckenbauer weren't there. A long ball in for Jeff Hurst. Can Hurst get his head to it? No, he can't because Schultz is there and the Germans clear that one. A nice quick break out of defence there by England, but Schultz was equal to it. The Taylor's pass wasn't very good either because that went to Dobby Styles for England. Back to Bobby Moore. Moore forward, down on to the right wing. And we played a half minute over, but then of course we had Tilkovsky injured for a minute or so early in the game. And Moore attacks down the right for England, looping it in there. Then Jack Charlton up with his head there. But the Germans get this one away. And this much reduced England's forces behind. And they're attacking down the left there. Emery flipping it inside there. Or he's hoping to clip it inside to a hell. Jack Charlton is still up there in the attack there, England plunging forward. There goes the whistle for half time though. Off into the second half, 30 seconds gone. And it's a goal kick being taken at the moment by the West German keeper. West Germany then defends the goal to our right. One goal each. Down off the head of Alan Ball. Turn the ball into touch. Edinger, taking it for Germany, gets the return pass up to the halfway line, through the legs of Ball there. Great advantage. And down here to help the ball into touch. And the players came out rather quicker than we thought here at Wembley. We usually expect with the fans parading in front of us here that there will be a longer interval. But they were out well inside 10 minutes here this afternoon. Now the ball back with Nobby Styles for England. Nobby Styles upfield, up going for the ball. And the ball is turned into touch by the German defenders there. Throwing Cohen down in front of us now to take the throw. England defending the goal to our left. Oh, and a bad one. The ball coming almost going up to the box here, but bouncing down on the dump track in front of us here at Wembley. West Germany then takes the lead after 30 minutes in the first half. England equalising after 18. And England is Cohen now with the ball across the edge of the penalty. Turned away upfield by Schultz. Still not under control by Germany. Taken inside by Ball. Ball down the wing to. The George Cohen, along the ground here, this is turned away by Snellinger, down but it only comes to Cohen again, Cohen turned it inside, Dobby Styles coming between two players, lets it run loose to Bobby Charlton, Charlton changes direction, Marty Peters, it's rather good pass though, a short one, cut off by the white shirts there, well back in defence now, and the ball is handled there by Jackie Johnson inside the centre circle, and all the time in the world, indicates to the referee that he caught it on his chest there, but... Jackie Charlton taking the ball on the turn with plenty of time and no challenge. Has handled it, waving his arms there, Mr. Leeds. Mr. Leeds gives his free kick, has taken quickly, but into the, a ruck of red shirt. Bobby Moore coming away with it now for England. Out of the halfway line, turn back again to Martin Peters. Roger Hunt in the centre, down on the left wing. Martin Peters turns on him. Charlton goes on the outside of him. Finds the open gap again to Styles. Styles through the middle there, but only puts this straight into the body of Schultz. Oh, and Schultz slips over himself onto the running track. Throw into England. Nobby Stars having a plenty of room, as Boris Edelson was saying earlier on to us, that he thought that Stars very much 
a better defender than he is coming off the attack and having the space to move. He doesn't really think till it's way bit too late what he's going to do with it. Throw into England. Styles to take it. Styles down the ball. Ball turns to Styles again. Can he run onto this one and turn it? He does along the face of the goal. It's turned away by Schultz. Jackie Charlton coming well up at halfway inside the German half. Ball going for it as he does for the whole of the 90 minutes, chasing everything. Gets this one on the outside of the German defender. Has to move back a yard or so. Oh, and he's brought down there. Brought down as he tried to turn. Now, I think Ball probably doing a little bit of play action himself there because it didn't look to be a hard tackle there, but it might have caught his knee. Adol Shepherdson coming out to the line here, but not being caught on by the referee, Mr. Deans from Switzerland. No, I think he's, he's saying to Ball, are you OK? And Ball says yes, picked himself up. Three kicks to be taken by Cohen. For England, Cohen, who floated one earlier across, gave her a chance to score. But the ball's cleared away to Bobby Moore. Bobby Moore down to Hunt. Hunt on the left now. Peter's going out to help out. But he puts the long one up through the middle there. Go up, skin it on the turf here. Not a good clearance, but fortunately for Germany, on the edge of the centre circle, it's helped. Helps to Zayn, then to Haller. Haller coming fast in deep. Oh, to help, he's offside. Up goes the linesman's flag. Banks came out there. Helps had to take it down near the right corner flag, but up went the linesman's flag on the far side of the field. And the referee spotted that one. The referee's been spotted by Mr. Galberg from Czechoslovakia on the lines this afternoon, and Mr. Von Robot from Russia. And now, Bobby Charlton. Four red shirts there to get away for more to come off on the outside of him. And he's left there. Four with it now for England. Looking to the left. Ray Wilson's gone up. The outside left position along the ground. Back of the yard. A third of Bobby Moore. But Bobby Moore will have a chance to float this one across. He does. Oh, and it runs over the heads there. Hunt trying to cut in between the fullback there. The keeper. Now comes Tolkowski. To throw the ball out to the right. Inside it comes to Overhart. Over right for Germany. Germany taking it rather slow at the moment up to the halfway line with a long one up through the middle and tells offside again, caught again by the England defenders. The line up there, Cohen, Jackie Charles and Moore, uh, Wilson, and it's caught offside. Another free kick to England. Moore, I think, will take this quickly. He does to Styles inside the centre circle. Styles with plenty of room to move. Out of this ball to Peters. Peters and Hunt, uh, Hurst, rather. To Charlton, then to Ball. Ball of flick to Cohen, who's raced down the wing, a yard or so from the corner flag. Cohen left to hurry, I think, to turn it back a bit to float this one across. Tries to turn it on the inside. Hasn't got a chance yet, but he pushes it back to Styles. Styles has got a chance to send it across. He does. Right across the far side. Peter's going up for a header there, but the ball turned away by Schultz. And Overhart will complete this clearance by stopping the ball just the yard or so from the corner flag over the far side. Ball with Germany. England won, Germany won. And finally, the defence will complete all that they've done by sending it back to the keeper. Clears right put it upfield, off the head of Jack Charlton. Styles going for it, turns it down on the side of Cohen. Cohen really didn't get that one, and he bypasses Paul, gets to Zellinger, to Hatton. Haller along the left to help. Help there, going to the left out, Jackie Charlton going into the challenge. And help will have to move it down to the corner flag, and he's running over this for a goal kick. Came off Helps Blake's there, Jackie Charlton. Turning off the ball against the goal kick for the Deeps. Pointing with his finger there to the six yard line for Banks to take this break. Held had to move it with that challenge of Charlton. Two minutes of the corner, Banks do any good with it. Banks for England, then clear it right footed upfield, and now comes the chance by the crowd here. Wembley, England, England, England. Let's hope we can see something in his heart, but now not be starved. Starts the ball here. He's getting a little bit awkward. And Mr. Deeps is having none of that too. And and he's really going to talk to him and obviously starts to acknowledge him the fact that he's been spoken to and that's it. And down in front of us, Haller with the ball, turning on the edge of the penalty and down to Helt. Helt trying to turn it in, he does, and he's only behind the Jackie Charlton. Charlton was taking no chance at all, and then going anywhere near Zayla, who was lurking just by the penalty spot. Haller in for Germany to take this corner, down on their left. Into the ruck of red shirted players there. Marty Peter gets ahead to it, heads it out to this side of the field. Turn inside Beckham Bar. Overhart. Overhart with it now. Which is it down to Haller. Back to Sunny 
Gus, and he got a long warm up now, goes Zayla for him, but it's headed away by England, over on goes Boyd, just to get a clear, a kick into the ball there, it's clear for England upfield, and on the ball this time is brought down by Heller. They shake hands, they pass it, and Heller politely returns the ball to referee Mr. Leach, and Dobby Stiles in turn, sends it back to Gordon Banks. Twelve minutes, sorry, eight minutes gone of this second half, and the score still England 1, West Germany 1. Charlton now for England to Bobby Moore. With a little bit of brightness here. We hope that's going to be brighter for England. And it's moved down the wing over the far side to Ray Wilson. A long lock. Going to hit it in the back. Away by Weber. Weber to the far side of the field for Germany. And turn upfield. Oh, and not held at all by Zayla. And the ball into touch for a throw into England. Down to Hurst. He's onside. Down near the corner flag. Lee Shannon, but he turns on the inside of his man. Has Marty Peters in close tenders, but he goes to the load at the moment, but runs it too far. Straight into the boot of Overard. The ball comes back to Wilson, though, so England has possession once again. Dobby Stiles going through the middle. Stiles picking it. Sideways across to the right wing here. Ball stopping it. Has Cohen backing him up there, but Ball puts it across. Up to the heads again. He's headed over the bar. By Marty Peters. Good move that the speed is coming in between two of the German players just inside the penalty area, but getting his head to it. A wee bit too high. Goal kick to Germany. To be replaced on this yard line, and Tulkowski, I think, is going to take this himself this time. Instead of trying to pass the ball out to Schultz, who was standing on the edge of the penalty area, because Roger Hunt was in close attendance to him. Up to Stoninger. Across the field there. And handball given this time against Ball. Ball making no protest about that one. Allows the ball to be placed on the end of the centre circle. Snellinger going for it. Sends the ball out to the far wing. It's Haller. Sailor racing for it. The ball's in the dust before he can get there with Wilson. Right behind him. The throw into England. Bobby Moore to take it. Over the far side. And between them, they're wasting several seconds here because uh, they've allowed the ball to run. Loose again before Moore picks it up. Down to Bobby Charlton. Charlton back to Moore. Moore upfield, but there's only Hurst to go for it, but he gets it right on the halfway line, keeps it into play. No, he allows it to run over for a throw into Germany. Right on the halfway line. Right over the far side. The tempo, that one slower. We were hoping that this 45 minutes might have climbed up a little bit. It's still one goal each. And both sides seem to be playing it. Rather, and rather slower pace than they did in the first 45 minutes. But now they're cutting out a move here. Germany can help with the ball, but it's stopped. And the ball to Bobby, Ch uh, to Bobby Charlton. Charlton down to Peters. Peters up mark there. Hurst is racing up through the middle. Peters turning onto the ball. Tries a long shot down by the post. It's a wide one. Hunt tried to get into that one. He can see if it was going wide. I don't know what he thought he was going to do with the shot going so fast. It's a powerful event. But if it's going well wide, and I think Hunt could see this as he raced across. Taken by Golovsky, Overart, with the ball on the edge of the centre circle, rather slow at the moment, Slaninger to help, stopped there by Jackie Charles, but it runs loose again to Slaninger down in front of us, gives advantage to the Germans, Overart sending it into the centre circle, and over the halfway line is brought away by Beckenbauer, Beckenbauer changing direction to move the attack of Germany up to the right there, and inside the centre circle is Saylor with the ball, and Saylor beats his man, turns, Across to this side to help. Round of applause here as help goes. On the edge of the penalty area, he tries a shot there, stopped by Charlton, and the ball runs loose for a corner there over the line. Dobby Stiles tried at the last moment to turn it up field for England, but it's a corner to Germany. To be taken on this side. Helped to take it. Beckenbauer lurking outside the penalty area. Here comes the corner. It's well outside the area, and he does find Beckenbauer a long way out. Is he going to try a long shot? He is. But it's a bad one. It doesn't get a lot of power behind it all the right direction, and he goes past. And I can see Beckenbauer lurking up there, and he's the man who can really pile in the ball, pile in the shot from halfway inside the half of the field. That one didn't get through. Well, it got through all right, but it certainly didn't have the power or the direction. Here's Banks to clear up field. A long one right up through the middle. Could have been a good one, but Hunt well covered there by the German defenders. He goes into touch. Ball 
going for it for the throw in on this side. And Cohen's going to take it. Cohen back to Jack Charlton. Charlton, oh, and a bad one. He ran it in and four run off his boot, but he got another second attempt down to Bobby Moore. Bobby Moore to Peters. Peters, a thick forward. Waits for return. Almost gets it, but the ball is stopped and turned back by Hawkins. And Hawkins gets it again from the defense there. The field for Hamble. The red race says no. I thought just for the moment he's going to hold up play, but he says no. Indicates very quickly the play will go on. No handball. Hammer with the ball inside the England half. Into Emmerich. Emmerich's return pass goes well adrift to Wilson because Hammer was cutting inside and Emmerich thought he was going on the outside. There's upfield then for England. Bounces loosely into Schultz. Schultz on the right and then it comes down here to Schoeninger. Schoeninger on the halfway line. Germany taking it rather slow at the moment has helped. Gets it on the halfway line. Slow building up here. They're keeping England pen back inside their half. One goal each at the moment. As Zayla goes through and he's brought down by Bobby Moore. Zayla trying to nip away from the links of Bobby Moore. They didn't get away with it. Moore brought him down on the turn. So this is a free kick to Germany. Just about 14 minutes gone on the second half. And Beckenbauer to take this one. There's no need for a wall, but it's going to be a long shot. And it's kind of straight into the body there. Bobby Charlton, Overard pushes it back there. The field for off side, the red race says no, and the line says no, and so it goes loose to Zayla. Zayla across the goal, up goes Banks there before Emmerich can get to it. England defenders there lining up, asking for the offside, but the line's on the far side, says no. And that gave Zayla a bit of room to move on the edge of the penalty area. But England cleared up field, a nice pass from Jack Charlton. Down there. Bobby Charlton down to Cohen here, moving up the right wing. The Cohen in turn is tackled by Beckenbauer and the ball's into touch in line with the German penalty area on this side of the field. Going then for England to take this, with England one, West Germany one. Cohen gets the ball back from the throw. Cohen can float this one across. He does. Up goes Hurst again, but the ball just beats his head. But there's ball racing point in the channels with Stellinger. Stellinger gets it away into touch on the far side. The floating ball from Cohen can always be dangerous, especially when there's a head of Peters or Hurst around at any point, and now it's brought down to the end of the penalty, overhead kick there by Peterson over the bar, all boy going for it, round of applause there for quite a good move, started on this side of the field, and a floater there from Cohen, that could just have reached the head of the tall Jeff Hurst, or Peters, they're both dangerous when they get the high one floating in the area, and here's Tim Kroski, the Germany, sending it upfield, over the head of Bob and Wilson, Turns onto it, doesn't put it back to Banks because Hannah was cutting that one out. Sends the ball upfield and down goes Ball, racing over the halfway line for England. Ball with it now, Ball backing him up there in close attendance. Flick inside to Roger Hunt. Hunt back again to Peters. Well back. It beats him by yards there, but Peters is quick to recover. To Bobby Charlton. Bobby Charlton's pass goes right in the middle there, punched away by the German keeper. And then Zayla right back. Almost in line with his penalty area to turn the ball along the ground, a useful advantage for Germany to Stenninger. Stenninger, a long one to this side of the field to help. Helps not offside this time, but before he can trap the ball and turn onto it, Cohen's there to send it up. It doesn't go very far, they're only the halfway line, but it's cut out by Overard. Overard to help. Help keeps it into play, just halfway inside the England half. Help turns it up through the little Haller going for it, but the ball beats him, turns the ball, turned away from his legs there, Bobby Moore. Calmly takes it, safely turns it up to around the ball inside the centre circle, and Bobby Charlton rather slow on to it. It's robbed by Beckenbauer, who brings it inside the German half. England one with Germany one. In the centre circle now with Helt. Helt for Germany, looking to Overard. Overard down on the left inside the England half. Overard just juggling with the ball at the moment, turning on to it. Beckenbauer coming through, a flick out to the wing there to Haller. Snellinger, a long one over the bar. 17 minutes gone of the second half. And here to take up commentary is Brian Ford. With the conclusion, I think, Alan, after the start of that second half, that England have nowhere yet reached the peaks that they reached in that classic match against Portugal in the semi final. Once or twice they've threatened to get very close to it with some nice little wheel build up move, but they haven't really shown the sharpness up front. All the composure at the back to my way, I think, yeah, but here's Wilson with the ball, floating it into the penalty, and there's Hurst going out for it, but Tilkowski punches it away, then Peters with the return, but that's why. 
In any case, Hurst was offside. So really, if England are to win this, we must assume that the best from them is yet to come. We know they can play a little better than this. And at the moment, both sides seem to be prospering so far as they are prospering on the mistakes of others rather than on their own ingenuity. But it's a good open final and no one in this stadium, I'm sure, would venture to say which way it's going to go. Germany with a free kick on the far side, with a throw in on the far side, quickly taken by Zayler. Zayler to Overath, Overath, a nice square pass there, which Weber rather makes a mess of, but it comes through to Schnellinger. Schnellinger forward to Hell. Hell through to Weber, a nice German move here, building up towards the English penalty area. Weber now lifting this ball into the penalty area, but Bobby Moore there. Not a very good clearance by Bobby either, but Styles is there, ever ready. But it still comes through the held, held a shot, and Styles blocks that one as well. Out to Schnellinger, but Schnellinger a very bad ball indeed, straight to the foot of Bobby Charlton. And Charlton slipping one outside Beckenbauer there, where Ball is racing for it. Down on the left for England, Charlton backing him up. Ball cutting inside, and then a good square ball there to Peters. Peters forward to Hunt, and Hunt can get past Weber. No, he can't get past Weber. But Weber has had to slide into a tackle, and he pushes the ball to the far side of the field, and he misses by one yard only, going for a corner. So it's a throw-in right down by the corner flag to England. Quickly taken by Bobby Charlton to Ball. Will Ball stop it before he goes over the my line? The linesman's flag is up, and so it must be a goal kick. In spite of the crowd booing and the protests of Alan Ball, it's a goal kick. A goal kick to Germany. England won, West Germany won in this World Cup final. And Tchaikovsky, this man in black. The one vulnerable man that I've thought, but although he's punched clear once or twice with great certainty in the second half, the one vulnerable man I would have thought is a very solid and set German defence. But there's a long ball from him, high into the English half. Wilson going up for it, jumping on the back of Zayla though, and being penalised for it. So this is a free kick to Germany inside the English half now. Second bout, a quick one to this dangerous player, Haller. Haller now in possession on the far side. Haller, a long ball into the English penalty area. Jack Charlton going up to head it, not very far away. Cohen helping him, but Cohen only switching it back into the penalty area where Bobby Moore clears it to Bobby Charlton. But Charlton rather lets that ball run too far ahead of him. But luckily for him, it came to Alan Ball, but he could make nothing of it. And it's Germany attacking again down the right there. Again, it's this dangerous man, Haller. Haller floating the orange ball into the penalty area again, and bang, pushes that one away. Down to Emmerich, though, still in the English penalty area. There's Zayla free for a moment, but he couldn't control it. Hunt and Weber racing for the ball in the centre circle, the ball coming through to Beckenbauer. But Peters getting the better of him, having a fair old physical tussle there with Beckenbauer. But Peters sticking to his man, but Beckenbauer gets it to Haller now down on the far touchline. Haller now walking the ball towards Wilson, then flicking it inside to Beckenbauer. Beckenbauer to Schnellinger, who's made one or two very bad passes, but that's a better one, going straight to Held. Held now on the edge of the England penalty area. Will he try a long shot? He's taking it into the penalty area. Shot which cannons off the chest of Cohen, but Held still in possession, taking it towards the byline. If he floats it across, it'll be dangerous, but there are two England defenders there. It goes off Bobby Moore for a corner to Germany. Well, putting over up in a bad position, and it's Hunt coming away, but kick to England on the corner of the German penalty area and all the big men are mustering at the far post as Bobby Moore's free kick goes in this back Jack Charlton with him but he's just past the post again a very quick free kick this is one of the ploys that England are using today which they don't very often use while others argue they get on with the game and it brought them their equalising goal from Jeff Hurst that equalizing goal for one scored by Ger uh, for Germany by Haller. And that's the score with 21 minutes of the second half gone. Still England won, West Germany won. The Saints go marching in, we hear, which has become the England theme song in this World Cup. But Germany in possession now through Overarm. Overarm, one of these fine midfield players of Germany, to Beckenbauer, who is another one of them. Very dangerous, just outside the penalty area when he's got a little bit of space. And he's just outside the penalty area now, but that was a bad pass by Beckenbauer. Straight to George Cohen, back to Bobby Charlton, back to Cohen again. But Cohen making a mess of it, and by sheer physical determination, getting the better of the Germans and finding Alan Ball. A long, searching ball to the far side of the field now to Martin Peters. Peters now sweeping in towards the German penalty area, trying to go past Overarm, getting in a shot, but that's beaten away by the German defence. Out to Haller. And 
now it's the turn of the white shirts of Germany who sweeps down towards Banks in the English goal. There's a good ball by Haller to Zayla, but the three English defenders were covering up there. And before this very, very dangerous German forward, Zayla could get the ball, the ball was back in the arms of Gordon Banks, and away come England once more. Nobby Styles onto the far side to this adventurous overlapping fullback, Ray Wilson. Wilson lifting the ball into the German penalty area and Hunt is impeded very badly there as he went up for that ball but the referee waving play on that surely was a foul against Roger Hunt but it's Germany coming away Schultz to Hell Hell tackled by Nobby Styles and tackled to good effect back to Jack Charlton he goes Styles still on the ground and now a tall Charlton sweeping forward for England but making a little bit of a hash of it in the end and it's Styles and Haller going together Haller going down and Styles goes into that tackle Mr. Dean is having a very severe word indeed with Nobby Stiles there. Stiles and Haller shaking hands and ruffling each other's hair. And that really has been the spirit, happy to say, of this 1966 World Cup. But it's a free kick to Germany right on the centre line, which Carl Schneller, their fair haired fullback, will take. A short one to Robrock. Back to Willie Schultz. Schultz forward now to Hutkes, the right back on the far side. Hutkes advancing as Cohen does for England on the far side now for West Germany, letting the ball go through to Zela. Who be Zela now for Germany? Opposite the English penalty here. Back it comes to Hutkes. He'll lift it into the penalty area. There goes the orange ball into the English penalty area, headed away by George Cohen for England now. To Bobby Charlton, always waiting on the edge of the penalty area for these balls, headed away by the defence. But Bobby was a little slow there. Unfortunately for him, the ball bounced off Haller into touch. For a throw into England, inside their own half. Taken by George Cohen. Bobby Charlton takes it on his knee. Lifts it back to George Cohen. England coming forward again. There, a good pass by Cohen. Or it looked as though it was going to be a good pass, but it was well intercepted by Schnellinger. And Schnellinger, in turn, putting it back deeper into his defence to Schultz. Back to goalkeeper Tilkowski. 25 minutes of the second half gone. 20 minutes of full time still to go in this World Cup. England won, West Germany won. Of course, if it's still level at the end of 90 minutes, we have extra time. And if it's still all level at the end of extra time, then we come back again on Tuesday night for a replay final. But there's still a long way and a lot of running, a lot of hoping, and a lot of near misses, I've no doubt, to go through in the next 20 minutes and then the half hour of extra time before we contemplate next Tuesday night. Germany in possession now until Haller loses the ball to Bobby Charlton. Charlton now out on the far side to Alan Ball. Ball with Moore chucking up outside him. Ball though bringing it towards the penalty here and then switching it out to Moore onto the head of Hurt. Will Bobby Charlton get in? No, he won't. Oh, it looked to me as though he was forced as he went through by a German defender. Bobby thought so too. Certainly Tilkowski is on the ground, but now he's up, bouncing the ball and then kicking it into touch, putting his hands to his head, and Tilkowski seems to be hurt again. The German defender Schultz is beckoning on the trainer, but that really looked for a moment as though the German defence was opening up, and we have this wonderful sight of Bobby Charlton slipping through the middle of it. It seemed to me that he was balked by a German defender as he was about to challenge for that ball, but Tilkowski got possession of it, and now Tilkowski is on the ground again, injured for the second time in this match. He's on his feet now, the German trainer is going off, Tilkowski is holding the side of his head, and believes that Cohen is taking the throw in for England. To Stiles, into the central circle, to Bobby Moore. Moore now, looking for a man, he doesn't have to look far because Wilson is racing up on the left wing, and there is Ray Wilson. With the ball now on the far left touch line, turning it into the penalty area. There go the heads, but it's the head of Weber for Germany, getting it away to Overarm on the corner of his own penalty area. Overarm challenged there by Peters, trying to find Sailor, but he was challenged so hard by Peters that all he could do was turn it into touch. And it's England rampant for the moment here, attacking the Germans for all they know. And there's Peters turning the ball into the penalty area. It comes into Charlton, and Charlton, oh, and just past the post!
stacking now. 1-1. One, one. England to West Germany in this final. It's so easy it could have been 2-1 to England. But now it's held, chasing down the left for Germany. Cohen, a very quick interception there, giving away a corner to West Germany down on the left. Held will take it.
record of the second half and England two goals to one in the lead in this World Cup final and Wembley is just a mass of waving Union Jack but it's Germany in possession on the edge of the England penalty area the ball coming in off Dobby Styles as Stellinger tries to put it in Peters the scorer for England back to Stellinger it comes but the Germans are the most dangerous side in this competition they never know when they're beaten they're magnificent competitors Someone must have been offside there. It's a free kick to England. The singing has begun at Wembley. England with 11 minutes left. Leading by two goals to one. And just listen to this exultant Wembley crowd for just a moment. Weber. Jack Charlton there with it. 
Thomas taking on the inside. Not a good one, though. Shalindy cuts that one out. Ben Emmerich away down to the left here, but being shut in again by Jack Charlton. England certainly not giving up, and Jack Charlton is moving into every range. The German combustor in front of the England defence. Two to Jeff Hurst. Hurst now for England. And Hunt up there, but he goes to Barney Peters. He tries a shot, and it's over the bar. He tries to lob it into the corner, but it's behind for the goal kick to Germany. Hunt was unmarked on the far side of the field, but Peters decided to try that lob from the edge of the area. Matter is now with overruns for Germany. Then the ball up here, help going for it. And Jack Charlton goes way down his hand. And he brings out Emery. Free kick quickly taken for Germany this time. Up goes Zayla, but it's well above his head there. And four runs behind for a goal kick to England. Pass and Douglas with the ball boy collecting it. England leading by two goals to one. Then Hurst and Peters, two scorers. And for West Germany, Haller on the first goal of the match after 13 minutes. And England uh, equalised after 18, and then the second for England after 33. And the ball into touch. Over the far side, up goes the line from the flag. Through to Germany. Just reminded by our producer, Bert Kingdon, that it was 33 minutes in the second half when England scored their number two. And now it's Beckenbauer with it, down to health. Trying to force the ball through, Helt gets it. Trying to get round Nobby Styles, and Nobby Styles checks him there. And it's a free kick to Germany against Nobby Styles. Nobby Styles doesn't like this one. Putting his arms up in the air, but he's not having words with the referee. He's just putting his arms up facing the England goal and not the referee. So the referee takes no account of that one. But this is a free kick to Germany. The wall being lined up by England. Emmerich to take it. Stenger, the big tall bullback. Going right up into the England penalty here. Here comes Emmerich, a lob. And ahead of there, past the post there by Weber. Weber went up there too, and that was hitting past the post. Great relief to England. A nice little header there by Weber. The Gordon Banks to take this one. England lined up the wall there, but Emmerich just chipped it across. Here comes Banks. The referee telling Banks to get off with it. And he's from Switzerland. He's going to lead by two goals for one. Ball now inside the German half of the field. Ronnie Hunt really didn't know which way that one went. Moore tries to turn it out and a free kick given against Moore. But that one, and Moore didn't like that either. Right on the edge of the centre circle now inside the England half. Free kick to Germany. And they'll have to take it very quickly. They do it to Beckenbauer. Beckenbauer now going through. Cutting past two players. Wins the return pass, gets it. And a first time shot there. Blocked by Nobby Styles. He goes to cut that one out and gives away a corner. But Beckenbauer can be very dangerous from that. Inside right position, halfway inside the half of the field. The long shot, the dangerous one that we've seen so much in this competition. Here comes second barrel again, taking the corner, but slide. The ball's running loose inside the penalty area to Weber and also to Bobby Moore, who turns on the outside of his man. Just look at Gordon Banks. That will be rather too dangerous. And a very nice clearance there from Moore to Peter. Peter's upfield the ball. The ball cuts off the inside of his man. And a nice through ball to Roger Hunt. Roger Hunt only has the centre half up there, number five. And a flick into Charles, and Charles and left foot shot there, and it goes past the post there, and he was tackled by Overland, who came back just inside the penalty area. Oh, and what an opening that was, Roger Hunt. At first, it looked as though he might go in alone, but Charlton was coming up, but Charlton had to take it quickly on the run, because he was challenged by Overland. Didn't quite make the contact that he wanted, and so it's quickly taken by Germany. Upfield now to Schultz. Schultz a long one up through the middle, Haller going for him, but that's pressed it down by Jack Charlton for England, and England come away again. Oh, a bad pass by Jackie Charlton. Straight to Weber. Weber, a short one to Slenninger. Slenninger, inside of Emmerich. Emmerich tried the first time shot, again, it's off a player, but fortunately, Mansoy coming, goes down to the six-yard area, throws the ball upfield. Just about three minutes left, England leading by two goals to one, and they have possession now with Hurst. Hurst off the ball, Hunt's there, but Hunt's moved back a yard or so, he might have been offside. Jeff Hurst still has a long shot from Jeff Hurst, but not a lot of power, up the right direction in any case. Into the photographers. Hunt and Hurst just having a word there, but Roger Hunt moves back, and I think Jeff Hurst saw this one, because Hunt thought he would be well offside if Hurst had pushed the ball out towards the left. Overarch, pushing the ball back to Hortgeth. 
Bush gets up the far side to Bickenbar. Bickenbar inside his own half now, trying to force the ball through the middle there. Sunny Dupair, a free kick given against Bobby Moore. Free kick to Germany. Two and a half minutes left to play. England leading by two goals to one. Overlord going for the ball now. Dobby Starr trying to cut this one out to Weber. Goes to Weber to Snedinger. Down on the right wing is Haller, the fair hair of Haller to Emmerich, shouting for it up in the middle. Up goes Emmerich, up goes Jack Charlton, who gets there first, and ball is back on the end of his penalty. He turns into Bobby Moore and Moore clears upfield for England. Almost up to the halfway line. Hurst with it. Through the middle goes Hutt. Charlton's going up there. Bobby Charlton up mark to ball. And this is another break of England that brings it sweeping back inside the German half. Charlton on this side to Hunt again. Hunt turning on the ball. Turn it again to Charlton. Can Charlton get a shot if he can? I think this time, though, he tries to get through two players. Fails to find the gap. And Schlenninger is there to send Germany away with Haller inside his own half. And then across in or Overard. Overard being backed up on this side by Hill. Overard trying to beat his man. He does. He's trying to shot. He goes past the first. What's there by Banks? Well, wide, but Banks was taking no chances. He went down to the full width of the six yard area there to make certain that he went fast. One and a half minutes on the watch. Left to play. England two. Germany one. The World Cup of 1966 almost in the hands of Bobby Moore, the skipper. But a minute to go. And the ball inside the England half and Styles this time. Oh, it's a free kick given against England again. Referee gets it against England to be a free kick to Germany. And despite the protest from the England players, I must admit they're not making it too firmly. Nobody wants to be sent off at this stage. All the players lining up now to form the wall. The referee pacing out the 10 yards. It's Emmerich to take it. Up goes the toss. The challenger into the penalty. Emmerich trying a first time shot. Almost goes through a run. Held it there. Oh, and it's not there yet. It's got the hand ball, the referee gives it. It's a goal. Faber. Faber for Germany has made it two each. And here's the big cut over the comedy. Just for a moment, because we want to remark from it. What is that? Well, I don't know how unlucky you can be, but certainly Jackie Charlton, to me, didn't make the foul, which the referee, Mr. Dean, for Switzerland gave. Then there was a ricochet in goal, and I thought a German, in fact, got a hand on the ball. The ball ran loose to Weber, and Weber made no mistake. But I think England certainly at this stage can say, how unlucky can you get? Because and he is now, or has blown the final whistle, and we're going into extra time. Ball tries a shot, and it's a 
And my goodness, Joe Kosky has the greatest difficulty putting that one over. There's this ball, as Boris Edelson said. He's one of the great heroes in this England side here today. He has buzzed up and down this pitch as though he's wearing a trench in it almost. And there he was coming through to make that shot. Here he is with the corner, but that's headed away for Germany by Weber to Emmerich. Although Emmerich is tackled very quickly there by Cohen. And unfairly so, it seems, although he looked a perfectly good tackle to me, but it's a free kick to Germany nonetheless. And away they come again to Haller, the fair-haired and dangerous Haller for Germany. Inside to Beckenbauer, but Beckenbauer can't control that one, but he's got plenty of time to go and get it again. Still inside the English half now. Two, four, six red shirts of England back there to defend as Beckenbauer goes forward. Slips a short pass to Held. Will Held get a shot in, though? He pushes it to the far side now where Emmerich is waiting. A shot by Emmerich. Cannons off the feet of Cohen. And England, I confess, looking a little down and a little dispirited at this moment. All except for ball. But it's over us in possession for West Germany, lifting the ball into the penalty. And there's Zayla going for it, a beaten in the air this time by Wilson. And now here's Bobby Charlton, this grand war horse of English football. Bobby Charlton coming forward. Beckenbauer facing him when he tried to go past Beckenbauer. Brother Jack coming up on the outside, but Bobby cuts inside, then pushes the pass on the left wing to Jack Charlton. Jack's going to lift this one into the penalty. And Tilkowski's going for it, so it's first. But Tilkowski gets a fist to it first, punches it way behind for a throw into England and limps back to his goal line, but I'm afraid he'll get no sympathy from the crowd here now. They are so solidly behind England, feeling, I'm sure, that they were wrong in those last seconds of full time when Germany equalised to make it 2-2. But here's Paul, putting the ball into the centre again. They're still bobbing about in the penalty area. Will Peters get a shot? It comes back to Bobby Charlton. A shot, and it hit the post. It hit the post from Bobby Charlton. Well, England's luck is really out. Emmerich now coming away to hell for Germany as the Germans come roaring away in the counter-attack. Cohen tackling and turning on his tracks there but not holding the ball. And it's Germany coming away again with hell. Hell through to Emmerich. But Emmerich is going to be tackled by Jack Charlton and by Nobby Stiles. And Stiles it is who turns it back to Gordon Banks. Roger Hunt down beneath us now. Hunt making paces towards the penalty area, towards the German penalty area. Long shot across the face of the goal and behind. So England finding their fire again. The sun is out at Wembley. The crowd is behind England. And the scoreboard says England 2, West Germany 2. As we've now played four minutes of extra time. Heading that goal kick back into the German half to Hunt. Hunt coming forward, trying a 1-2 with Hurst back off, but he's, Hurst can't control it, and Beckenbauer. Challenged by Bobby Moore, loses it to Moore. Moore to Peters, back to Moore again, out to Hurst. Will Hurst go past his man? No, he won't. It's Schultz there, but Hurst is still in possession. He tries again to go past Schultz. He gets past yeah. Schultz, and Schultz, and yes, gives away a corner. A good piece of dogged running there by Jeff Hurst. It was the dogged Hurst, you remember who laid on the goal for Bobby Charlton to beat Portugal here on Tuesday night, and that was again an example of his dogged running, getting that corner there for England, which Alan Ball is going to take. There he is, sending the ball into the German penalty area. Peter's going up for it. Bobby Moore and Charlton all there, but it comes through to Ball. Ball slipping it inside now to Bobby Charlton. Charlton switching it out to the left wing where Wilson comes up. Full of fire England now, into the centre it goes. Headed away though, only as far as Ball. Ball now, jinking about with the ball on the edge of the penalty area there. Wilson going in, feet first there, sliding on the turf there. Losing the ball though, and away come the Germans. And Emmerich completely unmarked. Oh, but he couldn't control that one, and the English defence has time to reform. As Emmerich gathers the ball on the far side, lifts it into the centre. It comes through to Held, and Styles there with his head again. But losing the ball to Held, and then finding that Cohen is there to complete the clearance. But the referee's whistle has gone. And it's a free kick to England. Ironic cheers from the crowd. And beneath us on the bench, the men who really matter in these two teams are fidgeting away. Alf Ramsey I see there in his blue tracksuit beneath me. Helmut Schoen, the all German manager. So much to play for. And for both of them now, so much to lose as Haller takes possession just inside the English half. 
Haller coming forward, West Germany down the right. They're trying to trick his way past Peters, but Peters is sticking to him, and in the end, Haller has to push it back to Pogba. Pogba slipping the ball inside, almost walking pace now. This Wembley turf is taking its toll on the legs. Beckenbauer coming forward now. Can Beckenbauer get a shot into Germany? He does, but it cannons off the back of Nobby Styles. Out again to Schnellinger. Schnellinger pushing it out to the right to Overarf. The Germans coming much more into the picture now as Overarf swings this ball in. Sayers there, but so is Jack Charles of Bringland. And he heads it away to Martin Peters. Peters to Hunt. Hunt now making a foray into the German half there. And a good through ball there to Hurst. Now can Hurst get a shot and he does. Oh, but it cannons off Schultz. And Schnellinger is there backing up this German defence. And he turns the ball back to Tilkowski who's now wearing a hat as well as gloves. Tilkowski throwing the ball to Overath. Overath inside to Haller. Haller returning the ball to Overath. Now, quite slow motion football up the right wing there to Zayla. Zayla being watched all the time by Wilson. Got Overath there with him as Zayla. He's got Wilson in front of him, so he slips it back to Overath. Overath, a long one across field there to Beckenbauer. The tall, upstanding Beckenbauer going into the English defence there, but he can't control that ball. Martin Peters coming away with it for England to Hunt. Hunt now with Ball racing eagerly through the middle there. So it's Bobby Moore, but I think Schultz will get a foot to it before Bobby Moore does. I think Boris Edelson, this, I was urging Bobby Moore on a yard or so faster, but Schultz was equal to the pair of us, and he turns the ball into touch. But it's England in possession now. Bobby Moore down the left there, sending the ball across. Off the head of Schultz, though. It's still bobbing about in the German penalty area, but they come away with it now, this German defence. Up to Haller. Haller with Peters there. Peters looking rather distressed, though. He's given a, an awful lot to England this afternoon. I wouldn't think anyone on this pitch has got much more to give, but it's held now, sprinting up the left for Germany. Watched by Jack Charlton, but he's taking it into the penalty area. He's going past Jack Charlton to the byline. He turns it back. Oh, my goodness. England was so close to disaster there. Zayla couldn't quite get ahead of the ball, and Peters urging his tired body on just to keep it into play. And then sending a ball up to Bobby Charlton, who still looks full of running, though. Away comes Bobby Charles in that beautiful, fluent move is into the centre circle. Roger Hunt running off the ball for him. Hurst also, he releases the ball to Hurst. Back it comes to Bobby Charles. Now someone's got to move quickly. Charles is faced by Beckenbauer. He's trying to go past Beckenbauer, slips the ball to Hunt on the edge of the German penalty area. Hunt loses control of it just for a fraction and that's long enough for Hutchkins to come in and to clear the ball into touch. Nine minutes the first half of extra time gone. West Germany 2, England 2, as Hunt puts the ball across into the side netting though. I'm not going to make any forecasts. I remember just before I handed over to Alan Clark, I was saying just a few minutes in England we were world champions. I remember Alan saying a minute and a half to last out of England are the world champions with a cup of being Bobby Moore's hand, so it's not for me to say that we might be faced with another match on Tuesday night because so much can happen in such a short time as Hurst and Hutkiss clash there. A bad pass by Hutkiss, though, taken by Bobby Charlton. Charlton to Styles. Styles a short square ball on the far side to George Cohen. Cohen releasing the ball to Ball. Ball now taking his way down the right touch line, tripping away there with his socks at his ankles, getting the ball off the German defender, letting it go through to Cohen. Cohen lifting it across the goal there, but behind. That must have been exasperating for the English forwards who pushed their bodies into that six-yard area to see this ball from George Cohen floating behind Tilkowski's goal when there were three of them waiting there to have a go at nodding it in. England 2, West Germany 2 in this very even still World Cup final of 1966. A long kick from Tilkowski. Headed away by Jack Charles and down to Nobby Styles. Styles with a long ball through to Ball, and Ball will run for all he's worth after this one. He turns it in. Can Hurst get a shot in? In a chance for Jeff Hurst. And he's hit the bar. It must be a goal. I would have thought that went in. But he's not given it. I thought that hit the bar and went in, Morris Edelson. I'm not certain. Uh, yes, it's given. It's given. England are in the lead. Mr. Deeds went across to the linesman. It certainly hit the underneath part of the bar bounce down. It was a fine decision, but the linesman, who was in the best position to see, has said that the goal was in, it's across the line. So Hurst has got his second goal for England, and with a few minutes to go to half time in this extra period, England lead 3 2, 
and the hero of the hour for my money, the man that made the pass there, Alan Moore. Yes, he had to have a say in it, didn't he, Morris? But really, my feeling was that the Russian linesman on the far side was waving his flag as much as to say that he wanted to go. So we've had two remarkable decisions that have led to two very controversial goals here at Wembley. But England leading by three goals to two, the scoreboard says so, as the ball goes into the English penalty area again, headed away by the English defence, booted away by Martin Peters. Now down beneath us, the tall Beckenbauer, trying to make something out of the ruins for Germany, and here he comes towards the English penalty area again, lifting the ball in, but Jack Charlton goes down and cannons off Bobby Moore, fortunately back into the arms of Gordon Banks. Now Banks, a long one out to the right there, to Roger Hunt. It says an awful lot for the resilience of this English side after that crushing disappointment of being so near to victory in full time that they've managed to come back with such fire and venom in the second half. I thought they were lost, but they've come back and they've defied the German defence to go 3-2 in the lead. Great work by Alan Ball, a good shot by Jeff Hurst that cannoned off the crossbar and behind the goal line. But Beckenbauer coming away, tackled there by the Waspish ball again. But Beckenbauer still in possession, then slipping a ball sideways, very coolly indeed to Stellinger. Stellinger measuring the pass, hitting it straight onto the head of Ray Wilson, getting the rebound, putting it into Beckenbauer again. The Germans by no means finished yet, as Beckenbauer comes, does a little circle there, takes the ball away from Bobby Charles and slips it to Overath, Overath to Haller. The Germans playing very cool football still here. They're far from finished and held. Tries to get past Peters on the far side there, but Peters holding him off. Oh, indeed. The referee, in fact, has given a free kick to England. I would have thought, frankly, it would have gone the other way. Morris Edelson is disagreeing with me. I thought Peters was the wrong party there, but it's a free kick to England nonetheless. The scoreboard says England three, West Germany two, and we have two minutes to go to the end of the first period of extra time. Wilson now in possession for England. Down to Alan Ball. Ball inside. Bobby Charlton. Charlton also with his socks at his ankles now. Looking for a man, not taking his time about it. England must go searching for this extra goal now to save themselves any second disaster so near the end. Charlton now in possession. Trying to find Hurst on the far side there, but a good interception by the German defence and it's Stellinger coming away. And as Boris Edelson points out, they are such a cool side, this German side. And now they're a menacing side as Emery comes along, puts a good ball inside for help. Oh, but a good tackle there and a good interception there by Cohen. Slips the ball back to Banks. Banks had to go full length to stop it going behind for a corner, but it was good work nonetheless by George Cohen. Out to Bobby Charlton. Now to Styles. Styles on the far side to Ball, who again has found room for himself. What a tremendous worker this Allen Ball is. Here he is again. Oh, and Stellinger handles that ball outside his own penalty area. Ball tried to find Styles. I remember a year ago in Nuremberg when England played West Germany there and beat them. Helmut Schert, the German team manager there, was so full of praise for Allen Ball. He said he could become one of the greatest players in the history of English football. And today, He's certainly proving Mr. Schoen right. As England attack again, the long ball into the for Bobby Charlton, lifted into the German penalty area, going behind, surely. But Tilkowski picks it up nonetheless and throws it out to Haller. It must have been a goal kick. And Bobby Charlton is protesting that it was a goal kick. That was a bit of slack referee by Mr. Steve, no doubt about it. So now we come to Held now, just outside the English penalty area. Held a long one across there, Emmerich unmarked on the far side, Cohen going out there to try and tackle him, a shot by Emmerich, but it's over the English crossbar. On our watch, 20 seconds of the first period of extra time to go, and my feeling is very much that Mr. Dean, who started off so well in this match, has really had a pretty poor game as a referee. But referees, like players, can have good games and bad games, and it's just his misfortune, I suppose, that this is not one of his best games. Or we could be wrong as far as that's concerned. But there he's right on the button there with his timing. That was exactly 15 minutes of the first period of extra time gone. The score, England 3, West Germany 2. Here's Boris Edelstein for a quick comment. Well, 15 minutes gone into this extra time. And to me, it was all England. It was just the odd splash of danger coming through from this German side. It was one thing I like about this German side is that they don't panic. When they went the goal behind, it was a fine goal built up by Alan Ball. Crossed the ball from the right, beautifully controlled by Jeff Hurst. And Hurst turned on it, slammed it in. It hit the underneath part of the bar. And from the linesman's decision, certainly on the bounce down, 
fell just beyond the goal line. We're certainly going to enjoy, I think, television pictures tonight or tomorrow to see these things recaptured again, perhaps in slow time. But we've got to make, in the sound commentary box, uh, opinions immediately they happen. So certainly England there, leading 3-2, and having the better of that tie of 15 minutes in the first half, so all still to play for, and a good deal of culture soccer still coming from these very gallant and game Germans. They're defending the goal to our right. The referee, Mr. Deans, is just asking all officials, coaches and what have you to come off. It will be, I think, England to kick off. And in fact, Mr. Deans has restarted the game, so it's over to Alan Clark. England then defended the goal and they've it by three goals to nil. And the ball down with Germany over the halfway line. Everett pushes the ball through to help, but turned into touch there by Jackie Charlton. Under 15 minutes left to play in England, leading by three goals to two. And remember, of course, they've leading by two goals to one just a few seconds before the full 90 minutes was up. And it's Germany again with override onto the ball, pushing it in, seeing a penalty. Everett going for the ball, and the tackle there by Charlton brings it down to this side of the field, and George Cohen runs it along the line and neatly stops it, turns the ball upfield. The Jeff Hurst presses the ball down, leads it to little redhead of Alan Ball, changing it to the umbar pump. Over the halfway line. Hunt getting it past his man. Oh, there's Schultz there. Ball's up there with him. Oh, ball party with that ball. But now he's up once again to collect it. Back healer there. Down from left wing. Ray Wilson goes for it. Can he turn this one in? He's being challenged at the moment. He does. Turns it right across the goal. Up goes Hurst. But up goes Weber to him. Weber sends it upfield for Germany. Germany inside their own half now to help. Down in front of them. Throw a ball there, oh, and turns and stops there. Well done, Jackie Charlton. That was going through to Emery. Charlton stops the ball, sends it upfield. Her side to jump over it, doesn't even go on to the tackle there. Well, the ball back to send it through to Schultz. Schultz to Beckenbauer. Beckenbauer could still be a dangerous man, but it's German side. Beckenbauer going through, tries a long shot from outside the area. Doesn't get a lot of power behind it, and Banks is able to go down by the post to pick up and clear the ball upfield. Trying to Boer. Boer to Hunt. Hunt there and Ball racing on the left wing over the far side of the field. Ball in every move the start, whether it be the right wing, the left wing. There's always Ball bobbing up there. There's Bobby Charlton with it. Now up through the middle goes Hunt. Charlton switches it out here to Marty Peters. Peters, little room to move in. Hunt lurking in the penalty area. Slides it across here though to Hurst. Hurst. Low the ground inside of Marty Peters. Back again to Hurst, through to Peters, but the ball just didn't reach him. And it's turned into touch on this side of the field by Overhart. The Germany has threw in then with England, defended the goal to our left, defeated by three goals to two. Two and a half minutes gone on this second half of extra time, and little style trying to go through there. There's Hurst, a long shot along the ground. Right direction, but straight into the arms of goalkeeper Tolowski. Throws the ball upfield. Two cents, clearly coming fast and deep, but little ball is going back there. Trying to buzz his way around Vela. Vela has to put a long one and up goes the line for playing health is offside. Vela, I think, felt that he had to pass with that ball before he wanted to because little ball was buzzing around the back way in the side of him, giving him no chance at all of getting through with it on his own. Here comes free kick, Bobby Moore taking him for England. Marty Peters, a long one towards the right wing, headed inside, a nice header by Hurst, down to Hunt, Hunt back to Hurst, Hurst right across, but it beats Charlton, runs loose on the far side to Smanager, up to the Beckenbauer now, Beckenbauer leading his van on the edge of the centre circle, over the halfway line, Beckenbauer from Germany, still in possession then, England players moving back to take up the defensive role on the edge of the penalty area, but it's still West Germany in, attack at the moment with Emmerich, lobbing the long ball, Zeynad going up, points the hits go up, of England and it's turned away by Ray Wilson to Bobby Moore. Doesn't appear to be a great big man in Zayla, but my word, he does get up above some of the defenders. Always dangerous when it's a cross ball. That's a bad one indeed. By Bobby Charlton. Straight through to Schultz. Schultz to Emmerich inside the centre circle. Schultz to Beckenbauer to Overard. Overard a long one now to Haller, but he beats him for speed. Goes into touch. Halfway inside the England half. Bobby Moore to take this through. While England have snatched the lead by three goals to two. Four minutes gone. The second period of extra time here at Wembley. Wilson with the ball at the moment. Moving it all the way back to Gordon Banks. Banks picks up to 
prepare for England. England, I felt, a little bit tired in the first period of extra time. Germany still seemed to have the strength. But it's the goal of the matter, and England scored one, and this will give them the extra little bit of pace. Certainly, Ball is giving everything he's got in this period of extra time. Hump with the ball now on the right. Wilson coming up on the outside of him. Hump still has possession. Hump trying to bustle through two players, gets ball over the referee, says no, play on. And England have possession with Ball once again. Ball across field, up comes Peters, but his feet just beats the boot of Peters there. But Peters came through two white shirts there to try and make contact. Nice through ball there, thrown by the keeper now, down to Beckenbauer again, inside the centre circle. Beckenbauer for West Germany, down the left to his help, up marked. Charles comes across to take a look at him, but helps in possession now, moving down the left, trying to turn in the inside, he does. He can't get a shot in though, the ball's blocked. He comes to Beckenbauer, this could be a long one, he stopped there. By the legs of Jackie Charlton, and then Wilson completes it, upfield to Bobby Charlton. Charles in the cross field now, sliding on the Wembley turf, and he finds Nobby style. Ball is there in close attendance once again, on the right wing now, and a moment or so he was on the left, challenging for it. And it's Ball again. Flick over the outside, trying to turn it in, waits for Style to come up on his right. Style there, oh, and a bad one by Nobby Style. What a pity that one, but Style was being challenged there by Schultz. But it's behind for the goal kick, quickly taken by West Germany. Not even put back to the keeper. Germany, knowing that the minutes are running out, sending it upfield Emmerich, but it's a strategy. On the edge of the centre circle. It's Beckenbauer again, trying to stop this move onto the right to Overarth. Overarth for Germany. Across the field, up comes Schultz, jumps over the ball, lets it go to the outside left, helps, helps with it, tries to turn it in, it's blocked there by Martin Peters, sent upfield for England as the Richards go back into their penalty area, and the ball turned into touch on this side. Throw in then to England. Nine minutes left to play. This game here at Wembley in the extra time period. And it's the ball again. And there's Hump waiting for it on the far side. Ball still takes a little bit close and brought down. I think this will be a free kick to England. A few yards from the touchline on this side of the field. Ball picking himself up. Charlton taking a quick one. Two ball. Back to Charlton. Charlton looking for Hunt up in the middle. But puts it right across to Marty Peters who heads but heads it in the wrong direction, he's just didn't reach that one to turn it into the German penalty area, and it cuts away again through Beckerbauer for Germany, but it was Emmerich with the ball now over the halfway line. Emmerich, forcing it down the left here to help. Hammer going up through the middle for West Germany. First time shot there, oh, it's a wide one over the photographers, right over the far corner. The ball boy has to jump over the top, that's to England's advantage. Seven minutes gone of this second period of extra time. Eight minutes left to play. England leading by three goals to two. Two for Hurst, one for Peters. For West Germany, Haller and Weber the scorers. And here comes Banks then to take this goal kick. Long one up into the half, but headed away by Schultz of Germany. Only to be breasted down there by Bobby Charlton. Charlton rather slow there, but fortunately runs across the stars. That's a bad one by Style. It worked really well this afternoon, but it looks just a wee bit tired at the moment as he tried to turn that one into the centre. And this one went into Dutch over the far side of the field. And now uh, here it comes down to Helt again. Helt very much on the run, gets through here. Now the referee's whistle is blown in any case, but the ball goes past the first. Free kick to England, just on the edge of the penalty area. And Brian Moore actually looking at the watch more than he's looking at the game at the moment. He's just noticed that. We've been playing eight minutes, seven minutes left to play. The watch ticking away in front of us. Banks taking his time. Too slowly, said Brian Moore. The watch is ticking away. But here comes Banks. He's clearing the ball upfield. Inside the centre circle. Germany again. In position. Moving it forward. Pass the referee. This Beckenbauer. Beckenbauer to Zayla. Zayla unmarked on the right. You have to turn the ball in. He tries to turn it through the body of Wilson. If he doesn't succeed, Bobby Charlton gets it upfield. A nice through ball to. Hunt, Hunt there with it, and little ball, there's Hunt cutting it very fast, into Hurst, but Hurst just couldn't control that one as it runs away to goalkeeper Dolovsky to clear for Germany upfield. Down to Schultz, Schultz over the halfway line and neatly stopped there by Jack Charlton, but still to the advantage of Germany because they run through to Emmerich, then down to Hulk, down in the corner flag, Germany on the attack again, Hulk 
Swings the ball across Hedgecock and headed past the first there for a corner. Corner, corner to Germany on the right wing over the far side of the field. Haller to take it. Bench is going to have an argument with Haller there about it, but the referee Mr. Deans is very firm. So too is the Russian linesman over the far side of the field. Oh, commits the referee that England has scored number three. Well, there it is. It's a corner taken by Germany. Long lob across the edge of the England penalty area. Cohen goes for the ball, turns it a little way upfield, but still in possession of Germany, the white shirts. And ball away down in front of us. Quite nice. Turns the ball. Little ball again. Very much on his own at the moment. Cutting forward. Very fast indeed. Ball turned back here to Charlton. Ball waiting for it on the right. Charlton changes the direction. Then Bobby Moore comes up into the vacant position at the inside left first over the far side. Then to Roger. Roger had the first time shot past the first. And the singer that was too. A good one. Good ball and a good boom. Started on this wing for middle ball. Hustling his way through there. And then finding Charlton. And Charlton the ball. And then finally Hunt with a long shot there. Germany's Snelling just a bad pass. Goes straight to Charlton inside the centre circle. Charlton looking to the right and it's ball again waiting for it. Inside out, but it beats up the pace. And it's turned back by Weber to his keeper. German keeper throwing the ball to the wing over the far side. Three goals to two. England lead. Ten and a half minutes gone. The second period of extra time. Here comes Germany on the attack again. It's Beckenbauer with the ball. Flicking it to the right to Haller. Haller has Taylor going out there to meet him. Inside of Beckenbauer again. Beckenbauer can't try the long shot, I don't think. He has to bar with the ball to help. England players, the red shirts moving back as help goes forward now for Germany. Across the goal and hits Emmerich. Goes behind for a goal kick to England. Emmerich moving inside the penalty. He got the way of a cross there. And the ball goes behind for the goal kick, which Banks will take. Four minutes on the watch left to play. Four minutes. The 1966 World Cup final here at Wembley in England lead by three goals to two. Banks with a clearance upfield. Hurst racing for it down on this wing, but Schultz is there. Doesn't bother to turn it back to his keeper. Keeps it under control. Sends the ball up to Emmerich. Nice pass. Emmerich to Schoeninger has raced up inside the England half. The long worst ball to the unmarked sailor there. Sailor turning onto it, has to push it down to the right. Sailor waiting for the return, doesn't get it as the ball crosses right to the England edge of the penalty area. Turned away by Stiles. Stiles got a boot to it, turned it in the touch hard over the far side. Stiles were taking no chance of trying to clear it neatly. And handball against Germany, a free kick to England. Quickly take him up by Moore, it stands up, racing for it down the left wing over the far side of the field. There's only Gordon Hurst in that half, but Hunt's going in alone until finally he does part with it. The Hurst on this side. Now the England players moving up. Jeff Hurst, Peters to Bobby Charlton. Down on the left now with little ball again being stopped right on the edge of the penalty area. Stopped by Germany and the England attack stopped. And the German white shirted defenders bring the ball upfield again through Schlediger. Sailor with it. Inside the England half on the edge of the centre circle. Schlediger coming up, getting the pass from Sailor. Germany just moving it forward to Oberard, but it's not a good one. Oberard has to go racing point down near the touch line. Just stops him from going into touch. Rather a wasted effort there by Germany. As it closes him into the match, but it's Beckenbauer with a long shot. Bobby Moore puts his head down to it. Bounces off his head, goes upfield, not very fast. So Germany has possession over on the right, up in the middle is Zayla to And Heller, Snellinger shaping up to send the ball into the England penalty, headed away by Jack Charlton. An overhead clearance there by Stiles, sends it upfield, but not very far. Held again, trying to move it down the wing. Stopped there by Roger Hunt, who's come right the way back inside the England half to turn it into touch. Roger Hunt, long way back, but helping out in defence now. Closing minutes of the game, but a long one by Haller goes into the arms of Banks there. Under two minutes left to play. England three, West Germany two. Banks throwing the ball upfield, throwing to Hunt. Jeff Hurst is down on the right, a little ball, shouting for it down the left wing and gets it. Ball cutting on the, flicking the ball through, Martin Peters, but unfortunately for England, so the ball is turned away upfield for Germany, did freeze Martin Peters, Paul might have done well to turn it on his own, but not being selfish, he parted with it, ever extended the ball upfield for Germany, down to Zayla over the far side, Zayla now for Germany, lobbing one into the penalty, up goes ahead, 
and it's headed down there just past they to go as far it again there trying to turn the ball to use for Levanti back he comes again and the dangerous looking one Ringland is turned behind by Cohen he's taking no chances one minute left to play England leading by three goals to two come on England hold on it's a corner to Germany up goes Banks and punches away up back there inside his own half beats his man cleverly sends the ball up through the middle but a bad one inside the centre circle here it comes back in off Poitkin down it to the centre half rested down there by Bobby Moore Moore parting with the ball up to Hutton Hutton back to Bobby Moore Moore now with the ball Hutton's over there with him 25 23 23 now 20 seconds 20 seconds and it's a simple shouting point on the right here. And there's people on the pitch at the moment. It's shoot! And he goes by Hurst! Goal by Hurst, number four. And the England players going down on the turf, hugging each other on their hands and knees. And there it is, number four to England. Jackie 
Scott is rather just admiring it at the moment in the luck of photographers from everyone here at Wembley clustering round the England team winners by four goals to two a hat-trick by Jeff Hurst and the band waiting there on the Dutch line the band master turns and in a moment or so we expect to get the national anthem here at Wembley the players still talking amongst themselves lining up the bloggers being pushed away by the officials here at Wembley and here goes the cup upfield and the crowd is shouting Ramsey, Ramsey, Ramsey the England manager listen to this and Bobby Moore just going over to Alf Ramsey giving him the cup and dragging him into the photographers into the pictures 